So, you want to customize your blender. Well, you've come to the right place because I've got the doodahs and gadgets just for you. Hey guys, we're back to Touch by Kai. I'm Kai and today we are back huh? once again in Blender 2.9. Is it 2? Yeah, it's 2.9. I don't remember anymore, guys. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, but <laughs> we're back and today we're going to be doing some customization. I'm going to take this out of full screen. Um, we're doing some customization. Uh, and as you can see, we're gonna go ahead and open up uh, preferences here. So pretty much this is we're gonna customize everything about Blender today. You know, just the look, the the way things are positioned, it's gonna be great. So um, let's go ahead and open up, like I said, just edit uh, preferences right there, and we're gonna open that up. And you can see we have this box that comes up, and it's gonna open up an interface. Go to themes here, and then we can change everything. Now this is a lot of stuff to change, so we're not gonna change everything in this right now today because that's just crazy it would take hours but if you want to you can go through all of these and change all of the individual colors for things so for the user interface obviously we have the selected so if you look up here these little bluish buttons like this and over here and whatnot you can see that it will change actually it'll only change these because that's in the in the canvas this, this doesn't count as the canvas for the regular uh user interface that's somewhere else um it's kind of silly how some of this stuff is set up but you'll see in a second so we can change this purple as you see it's purple now we can change it to uh red red now uh, i'm gonna change mine to a nice uh a nice golden yellow something like that um a little bit darker something like that probably yeah it looks pretty good i like that um and we're gonna go ahead and we can change the outline as well so you can change the color to white so you see it's white up there now which is really cool um do that and you can do a lot of different other things too you can change the roundness so it's more so it's more round or it's less round um really cool really really cool you look at these two buttons up here still uh it's really really cool but all these things you can see down here it's working as well and over here all of these um inner we can change the inner color so uh, this color that's up here i'm gonna make that solid black because that, that that's 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 cool, right? I guess. <laughs> We're gonna change the outline. We're gonna change the outline to black as well, because why not? It looks kind of cool. Um, selected. We can change the color of the selected, which, as you can see, the icons are changing color. We're gonna leave that on white, because that looks good. Um, and we can change the text. I'm changing the text all the way to white. So it's it's counting all of these things that's changing right now as text, which is kind of weird. Um, but you know, it's fine. Uh, we're gonna put that on solid white as well. The item. We can also change color, which I'm not seeing anything change right now. But I'm gonna change that to. Um, solid black as well so you can do this with all these different things here um, we could change so many different different uh, uh, pieces of this I suppose is what it, what it would be called pieces I suppose uh, but yeah so you could change all of this stuff which just looks really really good I uh, change the 3d viewport you can change the color of the grid which is cool so you can make it darker you can make it lighter I'm gonna make it darker I'm gonna change the uh, clipping border which is I can't see it right here now but I'm gonna change that to black um, we can change the color of the wires, which there's no wires right now. Um, and a lot of different other options, as you can see through here, which is like I said, really crazy to go through. But it's there if you want to change all of this stuff uh, through here. So, am I missing it? What? Oh, Jesus. I can't. But guys, I, I can't I can't be bothered today. I'm, oh, gosh. I'm, I'm just dumb today, apparently. Anyway, um, you can see the, the straight lines here, which is really cool. I love the straight lines. But sometimes you want to change the pace. Just kind of noodle curving up so it curves a little bit. You can change so it curves a little bit, cur curves a lot of bit. Looks kind of crazy like this. I don't really know why anyone would want that, but you can do that if you want to. Change the grid levels as well. So you can see uh, it kind of looks like there's like multiple different boxes. So box here, box here. If you change that to one, then it kind of gets bigger. So it's like a big, big box, as you can see, line there. If you change it down to zero, then it is nothing back there, which I kind of really like actually. So I'm going to leave it like that. Um, but yeah, so there's so many different things you could do. It just it's really crazy. But one of the coolest things is is that you can actually go ahead and change the layout of Blender when you first open it up. So that's the really useful part. Um, I don't ever really use the outliner, uh, so I'm gonna actually change this to the. Da, 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 da. I'm gonna change this to what should I change it to? Let's see. I'm gonna change it to another version of the 3D viewport, and I'm gonna change, put this in the front facing view like that, right? And then I'm just gonna go ahead and hit. Um, uh, and hit this up here, and I'm going to turn off uh, our our gizmos. That's what it's called. Our gizmos and off my, my overlays as well. So now we have this cube front-facing view. So now I can get rid of default cube and put, like, monkey, Suzanne in there. And you can see it is the uh, front-facing view, which is cool. I can also make this bigger. I can open it up a little bit. I can change this, this piece down here. Maybe I want this to be the... 
um, shader editor, right? I want this to be the shader editor, so now I have the ability to work on my shaders right there. Um, and then we can open this up, and I'll make this the, um, let's see, I don't even know what I, let's do make that properties. So now we have a lot of things over here, which is kind of crazy, but it works, it works, it works, it works. I feel super claustrophobic right now, but it works, it works, it works. Um, and let's open up the timeline a little bit. Um, change my start frame to zero. Put this on zero back there. Um, and let's actually go ahead and uh, what else do I want to do here? Let's hit, get rid of gizmos and overlays. Actually, let's not get rid of overlays. Let's get rid of that. Hit T to get rid of that. Um, let's move the lamp down here and move the camera here rotate it crazy and maybe i want another cube in the default scene i don't know why i would want that but let's just say that i do um and let's put the camera angle about right there right so let's say you want your blender to look like this every single time you open it up don't know why you'd want that you're a crazy person but listen i got you if you are a crazy person because i like crazy people too okay so we're gonna go up to file right and then we're gonna go to defaults and hit save startup file and hit okay now I'm going to move this around. I'm going to delete all of this. I'm going to get rid of this panel, get rid of this panel. I'm going to get rid of everything we just did, right? I'm going to get rid of everything because because that's just the kind of guy I am. I like undoing things I've done. Um, yeah, we're going to do like that. I'm going to change the rendered viewport shading. I'm going to add in a big, a big cone. I like cones, especially the ice cream variety. There we go. Um, but now, let's say I want to go back and I, this, I'm going to open up Blender for the first time. I don't want to do work on this project anymore. I'm going to open up Blender again. I'm going to start a new project. New, general, don't save. Oh, look at that. Wow. Our, our scene is saved. Isn't that the coolest? Isn't that the coolest thing? Maybe I want to go in here and change around our, change around our, our, our colors some more of, of some things. Maybe I want to do that. Maybe I want, that doesn't change what I wanted it to change. Header, oh, what am I in? Outline? Oh, I'm in the outline. That's why. I don't have the outline open. What the heck am I doing? Um, let's change the color of the, uh, well, the, we don't have the grid anymore. Uh, backdrop. Uh, uh, that's not the backdrop either. Th this, uh, that, none of this is the backdrop. It's, it's diff kind of difficult to see what is what sometimes, guys. Because, like, I'm trying to get this color to change. And I can't. Which, I'll find one of, what, whichever one it is, I will find you. This has got to be the only one. No, no other colors is gray. What? Oh, theme space. Wait a minute. I knew that. Uh, I knew that. Um, <laughs> yeah, so for the backgrounds of, of, of options, of like uh, panels or windows, you have to go down to the theme space. <laughs> yeah, you got to go down to the theme space. And I, I told myself that too, and I was like, all right, there we go. But you can make a white. I don't know why you want that. Maybe you want something super modern looking. I don't know. Um, but I, you can change the solid black, which also looks really cool. It kind of gets rid of the shadows on nodes, which looks really cool to me. Um, let's go ahead and actually, wait a minute. Make a new material. And as you can see, we go in here. Now, it looks like there's no shadows on any things, which is really cool. I think there is actually a way to get rid of the shadows, but I'm not sure, and I don't know where that is, to be honest with you. So, we're going to not talk about that. Um, but, yeah, so you can change so many different things, change the colors of things. I just think it's really cool to go in here, change some stuff, set up your blender the way that you want. I know a lot of people are super crazy about wanting their blender to look different, and this is the way to do it. Just take some time, go through here. You, you can be able to do some really cool things. Uh, you can change the color of everything. You make everything solid black. You can make it all like green. If you want green, maybe you like the matrix too much. I don't know. I don't know what you are. I don't know what you like. I'm not sure, but I'm going to help you do it anyway. All right. That's just the kind of guy I am. That's the theme of this video, apparently. Um, but yeah, so that's going to be it for today's uh, video, guys. Really super quick kind of thing. I just want to tell you guys, you can actually do some really cool things. Change the, the header color. Uh, uh, the, the region background. What does the region background do? I'm not sure because you can't see it. Sometimes you change things you can't see because you don't have something open and you don't know what it's doing, but it's fine, okay? But, yeah, so that's going to be it for today. Like I said, this it takes a long time to go through. I have actually gone through and done this before. Um, it takes a long time, so if you're down, definitely go. You can do it in pieces as well. You don't have to do the all, same thing the whole time. Uh, you can just do a little bit, close it, come back later. This looks like garbage but you get the idea i'll see you ladies and gentlemen in the next uh tutorial this was how to like, completely customize and change up your blender uh like i said hope you enjoyed it i will see you in the next one but until then bye bye